Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss about the cardiac glycosides. Let us see how they are going to be derived in the plants. So this is one of the egg glycone of the cardiac glycoside. This is nothing but the digitoxygenin. This digitoxygenin is having OH group at the third position, which is attached by beta configuration. And at this position, it forms a linkage with the sugar such that it is going to be converted into a glycoside. And similarly, another egg glycone is the digitoxygenin which is having an extra OH group at the 12th position and then one is that digitoxygenin which is having an extra OH group at the 16th position compared with the digitoxygenin. So from the digitoxygenin these two egg glycons are going to be derived in the plants by 12 hydroxylation it gives the digitoxygenin and uh, 16 hydroxylation it gives the digitoxygenin and we know that digitoxygenin is one of the egg glycon which is present in the digoxin which is having the high therapeutic activity and mainly used as a cardiac glycoside. So today in this video, let us see how these three egg glycons are going to be derived within the plants and we will see the different steps in their biosynthesis. How they are derived in the plants. So one of the important precursors for the cardiac glycosides is the cholesterol. You can see cholesterol is having the cholestein nucleus with 27 carbons and this cholesterol is coming to one of the cardiac glycoside egg glycone that is the digitoxygenin. So, so many steps are involved uh, in conversion of cholesterol to the digitoxygenin. But if you see what are the structural changes from cholesterol to the digitoxygenin, in the cholesterol, what are the double bond is present at the fifth position, which is not there in the digitoxygenin. So, this double bond is saturated in the digitoxygenin. And second thing, a large side chain is attached at the 17th position of the steroid nucleus. But here in the digitoxygenin, we can observe in five member lactone ring attached at the 17th position. So this side chain is converted into a lactone ring. So these are the two broad modifications in conversion of cholesterol to the digitoxygenin. But in order to understand how this digitoxygenin is going to be derived from the cholesterol, let us classify this biosynthesis into three steps. The first one is the conversion of the cholesterol to the pregnenolone. Pregnenolone is one of the important intermediate in the cardiac glycoside biosynthesis. This pregnenolone is then converted into progesterone this is the second step and then progesterone is going to be converted into digitoxygenin. In this way from cholesterol digitoxygenin is going to be derived mainly by three steps. So this is the first step where the cholesterol is coming to pregnenolone and this is the second step where progesterone is going to be formed and this is the third step where the digitoxygenin is going to be derived from the progesterone. Now let us go in detail about these three steps and let us see what happens in the conversion of the cholesterol into the digitoxygenin. So let us start with the first one, the cholesterol to the pregnenolone. Now in this step, the cholesterol is coming to pregnenolone. Pregnenolone is having the pregnant nucleus, which is nothing but the C21 nucleus. So what are the extra carbons in the cholesterol should be removed? So these are the extra carbons. In order to remove these carbons, the cholesterol is initially undergoing the hydroxylation at the two positions. It undergoes the 20 hydroxylation as well as 22 hydroxylation. So where is the 20 and 22 carbons? So this is the 20th carbon and this is the 22nd carbon. Now it undergoes the hydroxylation at these positions in presence of oxidation and NADPH such that it is going to give an intermediate like this. So this intermediate is nothing but the 20, 22 dihydroxy cholesterol. Now this is having the OH groups on the adsent carbon which facilitates the removal of the side chain by oxidative cleavase. Now this 20, 22 dihydroxy cholesterol is undergoing the cleavage at this position says that side chain is going to be removed. This is mediated by oxidative cleavage. So in presence of oxygen and NADPH, now this intermediate is going to be converted into one of the important intermediate that is a pregnenolone. Now you can see the pregnenolone is having the C21 pregnant nucleus with a ketone at the 20th position. So this is the first step, the conversion of the cholesterol into the pregnenolone where it is undergoing the hydroxylation at the 20 and 20 second positions followed by oxidative hydrolysis. Second step, second step is the conversion of the pregnenolone to the progesterone. So pregnenolone is having the pregnant nucleus with C21 carbons. Then what about the progesterone? Progesterone is also having the 21 carbon pregnant nucleus. So here there is no change in the number of carbons in the structure but only structural features are going to be modified. The progesterone is having the delta 4 3 one 
that means it is having a ketone at the third position and a double bond at the fourth position but here in the pregnenolone we can observe a hydroxyl group at the third position and a double bond is present at the fifth position so here this double bond should be shifted to the fourth position and OH group should become into a ketone group so these are the structural modifications that are required in the conversion of the pregnenolone into the progesterone now what is the first step in this process the first step is the oxidation where the OH group at the third position is going to be oxidized to produce the ketone. So now this uh, pregnenolone is going to be oxidized such that it is going to give an intermediate like this and here it is having a ketone group at the third position. Now this intermediate is having the ketone at the third position which can be converted into enol by keto enol tautomerization. So in presence of an acid this keto group is going to be converted into a enol form such that it is going to form a hydroxyl group at the third position along with a double bond. Now this structure is having a double bond at the third position as well as at the fifth position but actually what we require the double bond at the fourth position and a ketone at the third position. Now here you can observe this keto group is come to enol form where third position is having a OH group along with a double bond. Now this structure which is having the double bonds at third and fifth position can undergo the reverse process where it undergoes the enol keto tautomerization. So now this enol form is undergoing the keto form where the double bond at the fifth position is going to be saturated. So how it takes place? So here what are the lone pair of electrons on the oxygen are going to be donated such that it is going to form a double bond and this double bond is going to be shifted to the fourth position and then this double bond is going to be shifted to the one of the protons such that this proton is going to be attached to the carbon such that it is going to form an intermediate like this. This is nothing but the progesterone. Now in the progesterone you can observe the delta 4 3 one that is a ketone at the third position and a double bond at the fourth position and at the sixth position you can observe the hydrogen is attached by the by saturation of the double bond at the fifth position now let us see the third step the conversion of the progesterone to the digitoxygenin so this is the structure of the progesterone now the progesterone is having the c21 pregnant nucleus with the delta 4 3 one it should be converted into the digitoxygenin where the digitoxygenin is having the OH group at the third position and there is no double bond at the fourth position. So here whatever the ketone group at the third position should be reduced to hydroxyl group and double bond at the fourth position should be saturated. And another one is the introduction of the OH group at the 14th position. Similarly at the 17th position the digitoxygenin is having a 5 member lactone ring but here in the progesterone it is having the 2 carbon chain with a ketone group. So this 2 carbon chain should be converted into a 5 member lactone ring. So these are the important structural modifications that should be placed in order to convert the progesterone into the digitoxygenin. Again in this process what is the first step? The first step is the reduction by NADPH where the double bond at the 4th and 5th position is going to be saturated. Now here in this intermediate you can observe at the 5th position hydrogen is present but this hydrogen is attached by solid wedge. Here what are the groups attached at the bridge heads? One is the methyl group and another one is the hydrogen. Both are attached by solid wedge. So this indicates that the ring A and B are cis fused. So during this reduction the rings are going to be formed such that they are going to be cis fused. Now this is one of the intermediate which is having a beta configuration at the fifth position and it is having the pregnant nucleus along with ketone groups at the third and twentieth position. So this is nothing but the phi beta pregnant 320 dione. Now what is the next step? So here the double bond is going to be saturated at the fourth position but next step is the reduction of the keto group at the third position. So now this intermediate is undergoing again reduction by the NADPH such that it is going to form an intermediate. Now this intermediate is having a OH group at the third position. So here again the hydroxy group is attached by beta configuration. So this is nothing but the 3 beta hydroxy 5 beta pregnant 20 ohm. Then what are the other structural modifications that are required? So next modification is the introduction of a hydroxyl group at the 14th position. So digitoxygenin is having a OH group at the 14th position. Now this 3 beta hydroxy 5 beta pregnant 21 is undergoing the 14 beta hydroxylation such that it is going to form an intermediate like this. Now you can observe the OH group is attached at the 14th position by beta configuration and methyl group on the other bridge head is again attached by beta configuration so that the ring C and D are again cis fused. That's why the digitalis is having the four rings with cis A by B fusion and cis C by D fusion. 
so here the ring c and d are going to be cis fused because of the beta oh group now this intermediate is nothing but the 3 beta 14 beta dihydroxy 5 beta pregnant 21 now we got uh, all structural modifications that are required for the steroidal nucleus then the last modification is conversion of the two carbon side chain at the 17th position into a five membered lactone ring now this intermediate which is a 3 beta 14 beta dihydroxy 5 beta pregnant 21 is going to be converted into digitoxygenine by conversion of the two carbon side chain into a lactone ring since this lactone ring is having the oxygen within the ring we have to introduce the oh group at the 21st position so that the oh group is going to be retired within the lactone ring so the next reaction is the 21 hydroxylation so which produce a intermediate like this now this intermediate is having a hydroxyl group at the 21st position this oxygen is going to be retained within the lactone ring now this intermediate is having the three oh groups at third 14 and 21st positions so we can write this as 3 beta 14 beta 21 trihydroxy 5 beta pregnant 21 so this is the last intermediate that is going to form just before the digitoxygenine now finally this intermediate can be converted into digitoxygenine where the 5 member lactone ring is going to form so in order to close the ring we require one of the reagent like the melanyl coa melanyl coa is a 3 carbon dicarboxylic acid attached with a coa and by addition with the coa now this uh, reagent is highly reactive such that it can be condensed with the water of the side chain at the 17th position and it is going to form the digitoxygenine now this digitoxygenine is having a lactone ring and here we have shown few of the bonds and atoms by red color which are obtained from the melanyl coa in this way by reaction of the melanyl coa the side chain is going to be converted to five membered unsaturated lactone ring such that it is going to form the digitoxygenine then what are the other modifications now this digitoxygenine is going to be converted into disoxygenine or digitoxygenine the first one can be achieved by 12 beta hydroxylation such that digitoxygenine is going to be converted into disoxygenine which is having an hydroxyl group at the 12th position similarly it can undergo the 16 beta hydroxylation such that it is going to form the digitoxygenine which is having an extra oh group at the 16th position attached by beta configuration in this way from the digitoxygenine we can get the disoxygenine and digitoxygenine by 12 and 16 beta hydroxylations respectively so that's about the biosense of uh, cardiac glycosides within the plants cardiac glycoside synthesized from the cholesterol but cholesterol undergoes so many modifications in order to produce the digitoxygenine so these steps can be classified into three categories the first one is the conversion of the cholesterol into pregnenolone and second one is a pregnenolone to the progesterone and third one is a progesterone to the digitoxygenine in the first category the c21 cholestein nucleus is converted into a c21 pregnant nucleus and in the second step the nucleus is not going to be modified but the pregnenolone is going to be converted into progesterone by introduction of the delta 4 3 one in the steroidal nucleus and finally the progesterone can be come to digitoxygenine by saturation of the double bond at the fourth position reduction of the ketone group at the third position introduction of hydroxyl group at the 14th position and conversion of the two carbon chain into five membered unsaturated lactone ring at the 17th position by these structural modifications we can get the digitoxygenine this digitoxygenine is later converted into disoxygenine and digitoxygenine by hydroxylations at 12th and 16th positions so that's about this biosynthesis hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video